reports half a million visitors. What has happened to Miss America of 1945? Where is she gone? What's she doing? Her name is Bess Meyerson, and she is still very much in the public eye. Bess Meyerson is the Commissioner for Consumer Affairs for New York City. Behind her job is the belief that in a free enterprise economy, the buyers of goods and services are partners with the producers. And being partners, they have equal rights. Bess Meyerson's job is to protect those rights belonging to New York City's eight million consumers. It is a demanding job which begins well before she arrives at her office each morning. Here on three floors of New York's municipal office building, Bess Meyerson supervises a staff of 350 men and women. Inspectors, lawyers, investigators, accountants and clerks. Bess Meyerson's department operates efficiently and at a profit, something that cannot be said of many municipal departments. Consumer Affairs collects three and a half million dollars in license fees and fines each year. 24 hours a day, the hotline room receives and records complaints from consumers throughout New York. All complaints are listened to carefully. Bess Meyerson spends much of her time going to where the problems are. Does this box of cereal weigh what it should? How much of the weight is cereal and how much container? This procedure is repeated daily in scores of samplings all over New York. Always ready to go into the field are the consumer department's team of investigators. They decide on the validity of a complaint and take action when it is needed. More than 100 volunteers support the paid investigators. Many give three full days a week to the cause of consumerism. Good chopped meat will absorb this fluid. Poor grade chopped meat will not. This is one of the tests performed most often at meat counters throughout the city. Alert consumers help the Department of Consumer Affairs by checking their purchases and notifying the department when there is short waiting. Bess Meyerson has proved herself an able and dedicated administrator, and New York's eight million consumers are better off for her efforts. Activities receive wide attention in the press, and the cause of consumerism is thereby advanced for the entire nation.